this episode of Barefoot Sail and Dive, we get to explore Little Farmer's Key a little bit more. Then we finally make our way to Georgetown, and we get back in the water, and finally pull out the scuba gear. I don't know if you can see anything, but we're in a cave. Yeah, you can see if you look up at the entrance. You can even see that. Help! <laughs> Let's do the other <laughs> spooky especially yeah. if you go over there but they're really really brave and they haven't been eaten by monsters yet
Kind of a scary moment because I thought we almost lost the spear. No, 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 we were going to lose it. We just had to slowly. It wasn't going to go back. It was well and truly hooked. Davey said his view was well and truly hooked, but I don't know if I believe that. I was a bit scared we were going to lose it. There's a big ass rain cloud coming. We were supposed to sail to Georgetown today, but. There's like no wind and a big ass rain cloud coming right at us. Um, we spoke with our friends on Mintaka. Mintaka and um, they saw lightning in it just before, uh, before daybreak. So decided to sit it out for a little bit, see what happens, make sure there's no lightning in this cloud. If there is, we'll just sit here and let it pass over. But it looks like a really rainy day coming. That's no fun. It's not always sunny and perfect. Not always sunny in paradise. paradise, is it? Now no. we're leaving Little Farmer's Key. And we don't know where or how far we'll get today, but we'll see what happens. There is a bit of wind, so hopefully that means we can sail. It's a teeny bit on the it's rolly side. Rolly, but we're sailing. No motor sailing today, just the full jib and we're doing between four and a half and five knots. It's nice. Apart from the rolly bit. <laughs> yeah, but it's all right. And we're only on the jib on that as well. We could put the main up, but we should have put the main up before, shouldn't we? Before we got away on the rolly bit, yeah. Our friends over there, Mintaka. I don't know if you can see them, but we're keeping up with them, so all's good. <laughs> Belly rolly! <laughs> Absolutely beautiful morning here in Georgetown. There's not much wind, but it's already really nice and warm. Sun shining. It's almost eight o'clock, which means that here in Georgetown, there's always a radio show for the cruiser's net. So it kind of lets everyone know what is happening here in Georgetown. It's like a little community. It's fantastic. There's yoga on the beach. There's volleyball tournaments. There's there's just so many activities going on and every morning they let you know. So I think today's plan is I'm going to go to the beach and do some yoga this morning. Davey has to, well, he's agreed to help out our good friend Paul. He's going to help change his oil on his boat. And then we have two zincs that we're going to help change on other friends' boats. 
and to get back in the water scuba diving again. Yesterday was amazing. It was actually so nice to be, able to be under the water. Um, so today's going to be a fantastic day as well. What's this? Good morning, Matt, coming on the radio. Channel 72. And good morning, fellow cruisers and Georgetown. Welcome to the daily Georgetown Cruisers Net for January 9th, 2019. This is Bill aboard SV Charisma, anchored off of Honeymoon Beach, and it's my pleasure to be your net controller for the morning. At 8 a.m. this morning, the air temp was 77 degrees at 8 a.m. here at Honeymoon Beach, and the wind is nada, zilch, zero, nothing, and the water is smooth as glass. Good time to stare at your anchor from the diggy. So here we are, and where are we? Georgetown, and I'm at the top of a mast, trying to help swap over a halyard. There you go, but unfortunately, Davy is too short and can't reach the clip, so I'm not going to be able to do it. But I just thought I'd give you guys a show of the view anyway. Barefoot 2 is over there, and the rest of the crowd here in Georgetown enjoying their day. <laughs> 